All right, welcome to the Joe Schmo. I can create a mission tutorial. Uh, this is for my good buddy Olam and the rest of the uh, FNGs at Six Cents, and this is just a very basic tutorial on how to get a mission going. Uh, First of all, I want to get in there. And I'm the last person to know how to get all intricate with um, all of the intricacies of starting a or the mission. But I, I know how to get something fun going on. It's going to take a little imagination and a little creativity. to uh, get things going but I'm gonna do my best alright first thing I wanna do shift P alright shift P and vote myself as admin because I'm the only one in here so I only need one vote uh, if there were other guys in here they would have to vote me as admin so close continue and what I'm gonna do right now is go into my menu, six menu. Let's go into the battle center menu, battle center setup, and enable modification mode. Well, I don't know how to use this DAC stuff, so the first thing I do. Let's go in here and oh, select AI. I don't know what this ups mod means, but it changes this shit over here. Spawn west, spawn east, gorilla. These each are different factions of fighters, right here. Now what I was told the first thing you want to do is go to the setup over here and select set player start position. Uh, once I do that, it brings me to this map. Scroll out a little bit. And here we are in Takistan. There's big bad fruits of bad. As you go in here close, a little bit more detail comes out. You can see the topography. What I like to do is I let's go ahead and let's start at the base, the airport, the airfield. Now when I just click one time, this will be the spot where Blue Four spawns at. Boom, set up. Um, I don't know if this is official, but what I like to do after everything is just unselect, go down to select zone, unselect the current working zones, just to clear some stuff, you know. So, what do we want to do? Here, I'll just set up a, basically a... Op four Haven, a uh, ma militia militia group, uh, insurgent Haven type of mission. Nothing super duper, but it will be challenging to the rest of us. So what we're gonna do is go and select zone. set zone position and one thing you have to remember is where you set the spawn point so since the spawn point is over here what I want to do is I want to set up something in Loy Manara so let's zoom in right here we can start to see the buildings here 
what I'm gonna do is set up several patrols to be around here and here I'll set a zone here on the western part of the village and now you, the real important part is set to zone size a good zone size is maybe 100 by 100 so the X size or 200 it depends and what they'll do is the uh, the people within the zone will roam around in this box so I'm gonna set let's just start a 100 by 100 because we want them to stay fairly close to the village so 100 on X 100 by Y that should make us a nice square and then we want to pick who we want to be in the zone so I'm gonna pick spawn east and here we have um, several types of enemies uh, biz tech stand that's the uh, the army uh, biz Takistan insurgents biz I guess is bohemia active interactive I guess uh, we also have uh, the mole army and African army those are other types of uh, people we can have in there I always like to go with the uh, Takistani insurgents so I'm gonna go there it's asking me do I want infantry or motorized uh, we're gonna go with infantry alright do you want a, a group a militia group do you want a patrol you want the team to have uh, anti-aircraft or anti-tank um, specialties so I'm just gonna go with a simple patrol now over here up in the upper right hand corner it says zone added so now that I set that up I'm gonna go return to BC menu battle center setup and I'm gonna go to select zone to unselect the zone I guess this means that I'm done working with that zone alright so now let's go ahead let's start another zone position set zone position brings me back to the map one thing that you'll notice now is that the previous zone of Op 4 that I set up is here in the village now they're gonna roam around the village about in this perimeter okay not gonna go too much far out of there they're gonna patrol around there let's just say I wanted I wanna do something I always like to do this um, start another zone right here and let's make let's make it a little bit bigger let's go 250 by 250 and the reason why I'm going to show you why um, we got the zone size let's go back to spawn east Pakistani insurgents you want to keep it basically the same type of op 4 because some of these guys don't like each other uh, I know that sometimes the Pakistani army will fight the insurgents so before you even get there you know they're duking it out so the reason why I made that zone uh, slightly bigger is because I want to make a motorized patrol so let's just make them technicals alright done with that gonna return to that battle center setup select zone we're done with that one so unselect the current working zone alright now I'm ready to do it again so let's set a zone position now we see that the larger zone right here is what the technicals the technical patrol will be in so they could be over here when I arrive or they could be right here 
in a, in a lower left hand. Okay, I keep forgetting you guys can't see my mouse, but in a lower left hand corner, anywhere within this perimeter, that technical can be. So let's get in a little bit closer. And let's just add a couple more patrols. Click on the map one time. Let's do 100 times 100. Spawn east. Pakistani insurgents. Let's go infantry again. And let's just do a group this time. This is gonna be a group of guys there. Alright, go back to the center. Unselect current working zone by pressing select zone. Alright. And basically that we're just gonna leave it at that since it's gonna be by my since I'm gonna be by myself. Now let's just add some sort of objective here. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's just say I gotta go in and, and grab something or do something. Uh this is really the fun part. What you wanna go down to is a real time editor. Let me unselect that zone first. Alright. Real time editor. And it's going to ask me, do I want to open up the real-time editor at the player position, which wouldn't be too much help for me right now because I'm in a bunker in the middle of the desert, way away from uh, where we're going to start at. Or it says open RTE at a specified position. So I'm going to go for the specified position. I'm going to show you my favorite map here. And since we want to set some stuff up here in this village of Loy Manara we're going to click in there once I click we we'll want the BAM I'm in Loy Manara alright so basically right now when I submit the zones and we'll see that later it's empty right now and really there's nothing gonna be here unless I put it here alright so let's just say they are hiding some contraband here in the mosque let's zoom into the mosque I don't know what they could be holding let's go ahead and put some stuff here in my upper right hand corner it should say units and click on the units and I'm gonna click wherever I want this unit to go double click and here we get this I'm pretty sure this is very um, familiar to everybody um, the side course is on the other side it's op 4 uh, here the faction we got all types of different factions here that you could choose from down at the bottom we got Takistani militia so I'm going to choose that so that automatically makes the class unit uh, basically stuff that they use so we got armored stuff here we got cars we got men we got uh, static emplacements so let's go ahead let's click on men and see what happens uh, let's put a couple guys here um AA specialists no we got all these team leaders here let's put a warlord here alright as Azimuth this is which direction he's he would be facing we could change this click once it's, it's, it's gonna be facing uh, the uh, south east uh, rank this really doesn't matter um, where well, it does matter uh, and, and if you want to get really detailed with it um, whoever has the highest rank uh, the, the AI will follow him so if you put you know the machine gunner as a private and the warlord as the anything over a private